So as I was saying, when we chant love, peace, and harmony, these tools are in us and with us at all times. The value of understanding that the source soul song of love, peace, and harmony sits in, in every soul in our body, in every speck of energy and every speck of matter is truly one of the greatest gifts to comprehend, one of the greatest gifts of understanding. We want to recognize that this soul, this most benevolent being, the soul of love, peace, and harmony that sits in every speck of energy and every speck of matter has the greatest opportunity to um, heal us when we acknowledge it. We simply acknowledge it. There's a soul of love, peace, and harmony transmitted to every soul in my body. I love you. While I sleep tonight, please offer healing and blessings to all of my energy and matter to heal and rejuvenate me head to toe, skin to bone. Why not? And when I wake up, please rest. And then during the day, do something different. Dear love, peace, and harmony, every soul in my body, please chant love, peace, and harmony to serve all souls in all universes throughout the day, whether I remember to connect with you or not, please offer this service unconditionally. What is that doing? That is invigorating every soul in your body. It is reminding every soul in your body to offer service. And in the offering of that service, every cell, every energy, every matter in your body is healing and rejuvenating. It is, uh, it is releasing karma naturally because it is serving others. So welcome everyone back. Welcome Cynthia Marie. Uh, we're going to wait another minute and I will continue as the others come to join us. <clears throat> so let us again chant love, peace and harmony one more round as the others find us again. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Oh, ah, I was I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. How, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you. One of the downsides of our beloved live stream Facebook is it can just hiccup in a moment and just click off like that. And um, it's quite a test for me in terms of, you know, frustration, uh, anger, whatever it might be. I just have to kind of look at it and go, well, that was not really a wonderful thing to occur. I guess it gives me an opportunity to transform any emotions that I'm experiencing and to say thank you for it serves some purpose and then move forward. So it's always an opportunity to turn something into gratitude. So again, welcome uh, Allison and welcome all of you back. So going into the subject today, the earth element and the condition of worry, I will start by offering a flow. And the flow, I will ask the soul of the earth element and the condition of worry to offer whatever they wish to share with us that might provide some additional guidance and insights as to how we can bring additional balance to our life given this emotional condition. Okay? So dear the soul of worry, dear the soul of the earth element, its association with the condition of the emotion of worry, uh, the soul of the spleen and all of the associated um, 
aspects of the earth element, which include the spleen, the stomach, the muscles, saliva, which is the liquid, the mouth, lips, and gums, worry, and the uh, opposite emotion, which is love and compassion. We love you, honor you, respect you all. Please be with us at this time. Come to the Soul Conference and uh, collectively choose a spokesperson. Allow any wisdom to come through at this time <clears throat> on this subject matter that can serve all of those that are watching this video live and later on. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, you. Hey, you. How? I am the emotion of worry. I serve a wonderful purpose. I am greatly disgruntled, put down, disliked, and dishonored. It is very disheartening and debilitating in so many ways when I agreed to come to serve all of those with an open heart. I knew that it would be difficult when I chose this service. Many do not understand my role, my purpose, and how I serve them. They just see the downside. I have come to enlighten you on the value of my service. I am there to assist you to move to trust. I came because my beloved Creator, God, asked me to come. You see, the Divine understands that as souls move away from His heart, as they experience life in the yin and in the yang, that there will be experiences on the dark and the light sides. He understood that trust and a lack of it was a natural occurrence of the exploration process of yin and yang, the exploration process of life, experiencing life. And in this I was born. My purpose is to give people the opportunity to realign their heart to the divine. Few actually know that when they make a request, if it is correct in divine guidance and according to what your soul knows is best for you, then it will happen. There are truly only two reasons that anything does not happen given the nature of the laws of the universe. One of those is your thoughts and the vacillation of them. When you put forth the thought for something to come to fruition and then you change your perspective on it because of putting too much worry, too much of me into your uh, agenda, then of course the universe puts the brakes on their initial manifestation and you are unable to receive what you had originally requested. Therefore, my service is to offer you the opportunity to realign to what your original request was and move back into trust. This is one aspect of why things do not work out. The second is karma. That which you may have done to others in this or a previous time that stands in the way of you actually bringing forth to you that which you have put forth. So you make a request and it starts to move towards you, but there could be souls that are not happy with you receiving or achieving your request because you had stopped them from achieving or receiving what they had requested of equal caliber at some point in time. This is why you have been taught love and peace and harmony, forgiveness and more. When you practice the forgiveness, when you practice responsibility, when you serve others unconditionally, you are eliminating the potential blockages of the karma. Then all that is necessary is to borrow my service, allow yourself to see that when I show up, that I am here to remind you that you have an opportunity to clear more of your karmic debt and trust that God is bringing it to you. 
It has been said that upon your request it is instantly given, yet your mind does not believe that. I tell you, as one soul to another, it is true. But you must do what? You must trust in that truth, not worry about it. This is my dedicated service to humanity, and I would truly appreciate your gratitude for my service instead of your constant belittling and minimizing of my value. I will continue to serve as this was my choice and I know in the long run it serves many. I am grateful for this opportunity to offer this wisdom to all of you. This is the soul of the emotion of worry. Ha. How, how, thank you, thank you, thank you. What a wonderful message, huh? What a great message. So thank you all for finding me again. Thank you, Bart. Great to see you. Thank you, Kayla, for joining. Uh, so a great, um, a great message from the soul of worry. Wonderful, wonderful insights. <clears throat> when I was looking at the, um, the earth element, and the many ways that it shows up. One of the uh, aspects is the balanced emotion. What do you think is the balanced emotion of worry? I mentioned it a minute ago. What do you think it is? I heard a few correct ones. Some of them not correct. I was surprised actually. I did not have it memorized. I looked at it I'm like, really? The balanced emotion is love and compassion. That's the balanced emotion of worry. Love is trust. Love is creator. Trusting in the creator. Love is the creator. Trusting in the creator is love. So the opposite of worry is love and compassion. Yesterday, for those that attended and those who go back and watch the recorded live stream from yesterday, I used a Tao level transmission from this book for compassion, Tao compassion, an extraordinary light being of soul, mind, and body light being that came to you to serve you in this most incredible way. And today, assuming I can find the earmarked page, here we go, I'm going to offer you one of the highest love transmissions. It's Tao love, and it's only found in this book. This is the only one it's in, the Tao transmission of soul, mind, and body, Tao love. So you're going to receive, yesterday you received Tao compassion, today you receive Tao love, and we will do a practice together to remove the worry. This is a permanent transmission on your soul forever. It doesn't leave your soul. It stays with you through this lifetime, next lifetime, forever. And it is the opposite of worry. So what do you think is the best practice to do when you have worry? Exactly. Chant the love and compassion transmissions because they are the opposite of worry. You want more of them. Brilliant, huh? Okay. Welcome Lillian, welcome uh, uh, Kristen and uh, Petra Marie. Thank you for the wonderful flow. You're very welcome. I agree. That was pretty, pretty good stuff from uh, the emotion of worry. And I want to again give accolades to, to uh, Kristen Rojas. She's been doing an a a incredible unconditional service of uh, typing out some of the flows. And it's going to allow others to see them at a future time. I'll be posting them in blogs and it'll go out through the net so others can receive the value uh, of, of that uh, uh, information. So everybody prepare to receive. <coughs> well, you're about ready to receive a transmission. Please connect with the divine. Repeat after me. Dear God, dear Tao, dear Source, dear Master Shah, I am beyond honored to receive Tao love, soul, mind, body transplants. It is truly the greatest honor to receive this that I can bring healing to myself and serve others. Welcome, loveness. Prepare to receive a transmission. Now let's do this forgiveness practice. Repeat after me. Dear all souls, in this and all lifetimes, if I have brought conditions into your life that have created great 
and very unpleasant worry. If I have brought financial suffering to you that has created worry, emotional, mental, or physical suffering to you that has created worry, worry about your future, worry about your health, worry about your success, worry about your relationships. If I have caused any of those to you, I sincerely, from the bottom of my heart, apologize. I do not wish that upon anybody. And if I have done this to you, I sincerely, sincerely ask for your unconditional forgiveness. I will not make that same mistake again. Prepare to receive. The Master Shah, through this book, through me as your divine channel, could you please offer this request? Dao order. Dao golden light ball, golden liquid springs of Dao love, soul, mind, body transplants. To all of those online at this time, all of those who will watch this video in the future, as appropriate, prepare. Transmission. Dao order. Join Dao love. Soul my body transplants as one. Transmission. Hey ya uh, ya yeah, ya. Yeah. Hey ya uh, ya yeah, yo yo yo. I will do a quick soul reading as to what you just received. This is the source of Tao love. I am endless. I am all things in creation. Tao love is the highest, purest, love. It is unencumbered by karma, restrictions, mindsets, beliefs, perceptions of what love is. Tao love is the purest, highest, representation of Creator. You are blessed to have received this purest golden light ball in your soul to turn it on and practice is to be instantly in the field of the Creator's love. This gift is likely the least understood, least underused, least appreciated aspect of what Master Shah has brought to humanity. In 100 years, this light ball will be used in classrooms as a daily initiation to the day. The value will be commonplace and well known. My light balls in all of your souls have the ability to change every aspect of your life. Every aspect includes finances, relationships, and every place you have suffering. Why do those who receive me not believe this? Karma, mindsets, beliefs, the unwillingness to turn me on and practice. 
I by myself, nothing else, could transform your life in ways that you could only dream of if you simply practiced with me two hours a day. You say two hours? That's so difficult. I challenge anyone to do 21 days, two hours with me to transform one aspect of your life. Stay with one for the test. And within 21 days, if there is not significant movement, then I would be the most shocked. Tao love melts all blockages. It is the solution you have asked for. You need only turn it on and apply me. It comes with my saints, animals, temple souls, and treasures from my realm of the Tao. I cannot say more at this time. I love you all. I encourage you to use the power that you have just received. Humanity knows so little about what they have, and if only they applied it, the results could be miraculous. This is the soul of the source of the Tao love transmission you received. How, how, how? Thank you, thank you, thank you. You know, Master Shah says that in his own way. And I actually feel very, very guilty about um, not, not grasping the depth of that, of what that flow just said. Because that's what he said so many times. We're so spoiled with all the transmissions we receive that we don't take the time to do the practice. So I challenge you, just like he challenged you, 21 days, give it two hours. You got some place you're suffering so much, what do you got to lose? Except the suffering. You got nothing to lose except the suffering. You give it 21 days, one hour in the morning, one hour at night, two hours straight, where all you're doing is you're chanting Tao love, and you're visualizing this golden light radiating through your body, clearing the financial blockages, clearing the relationship blockages, whatever it is. It's highly unlikely you would not have amazing results. So now let's use the Tao compassion and the Tao love to clear the blockages of worry at the soul level. Okay? So... We are going to chant a mantra from this book. It is called Gong, G-O-N-G. -G. Gong, G-O-N-G, -G, is the sound power <coughs> for the, um, the spleen area or the, the uh, earth element. Gong Ya Yo Dao. Gong Ya Yo Dao. So we'll say Gong Ya Yo Dao, and then Jong, and then Ling and then shi, and then kong. Uh, just follow my lead. You don't have to memorize it. But we want to connect. Remember, the four powers. Body power, mind power, sound power, soul power. So place our hands in soul light, soul service position. Repeat after me. Dear the soul of my love and compassion, Tao, light balls. I love you, honor you, appreciate you. Please turn on. Please help me to transform and release the condition of worry and bring balance to my earth element as appropriate. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Dear Divine, dear Tao, dear Source, dear Master Shah, dear the countless saints, animals, and treasures in these books, Master Shah's books, I love you, honor you, appreciate you, could you please come and, as appropriate, offer blessings to help me to clear these blockages? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Place one of your hands over your uh, spleen. One. Now, your spleen is under your left rib cage. I think I gave wrong information the other day when I was talking about the liver. I guess I was in the hundun. Spleen is under the left rib cage. Place one hand there. Place the other hand under the lower abdomen. Welcome, Alicia. <coughs> and let's see, who else showed up? Welcome, Pamela. 
people are practicing for the earth element and worry now, place one hand on the spleen, one hand on the lower abdomen. Visualizing golden light, we will chant Gong Ya Yo Dao. As you're visualizing, also remember to do a gentle forgiveness while you're visualizing. Let us begin. Gong Ya Yo Dao, Gong Ya Yo Dao. Gong ya yo dao, 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 gong ya yo dao. Gong ya yo dao, 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 gong ya. Yo dao, jong gong ya yo jong, 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 gong ya yo jong. Dear the soul of the sun, please come to sit in all of our spleens underneath our palm of our hand. Radiate your golden light in our spleen. Gong ya yo jong, gong ya yo jong, gong ya yo jong, gong ya yo jong, gong ya yo Jong Ling Gong Ya Yo 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 ling, gong ya yo ling, gong ya yo ling, gong ya yo ling, shi, gong ya yo shi, gong ya yo shi, gong ya yo shi. Gong ya yo shu, 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 gong ya yo. Gong ya yo shi, 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 gong ya yo shi. Kong, gong ya yo 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 kong. Gong ya yo kong, gong ya yo kong, gong ya yo 
空，共呀有空，共呀有空，共呀有空。公呀哟，空；公呀哟，空；公呀哟，空。Keep your eyes closed. <coughs> Visualize <coughs> the golden light in the area of your spleen. Continue to chant. Gong ya yo kong, K O N G, kong. Continue to chant silently as I do a reading as to the value of this practice for each of us. <coughs> How? This is Yen Wan Ye. At the beginning of this practice, all of those who started this practice was immediately receive blessings. The blessings came in the form of a virtue delivered to each of your souls at the level of the earth element specifically for the condition that you requested. There are some of you whose source of worry originates in mindsets that were and are deeply held. <clears throat> These mindsets are based in both religion, parental teachings, and negative memories. These are all being softened for the eventual release. There are others whose worry is related to heart blockages. These blockages have to do with fear of death, fear of dying, fear of not living enough in general. These bring unnecessary worries and impact the nature of your heart. There is blessings for these areas to bring balance as well. There is blessings being sent to bring balance to the earth element as requested. What this looks like at the soul level is much like rainbow light and being rebalanced. The human being has a scale in which it operates at in this third density. And there is not a clean frequency of the spectrum of colors that runs through the human being. It is actually quite varied dependent upon where in the soul the light is focused. In the area of the spleen, there is being realignment and rebalancing. And in each of the Shen, Qi, and Jing of your bodies, there is rebalancing of the rainbow light, if you will, at the Shen, Qi, and Jing level. On many levels, this is rebalancing all of the five elements as well as the elements of the earth. There is a few of you that are what we be termed perennial worriers. You just can't seem to turn off that switch. For those, this, these transmissions that you have received are your highest treasures because love and compassion is what will melt the source of those blockages. You are the one specifically that should pay attention to the suggested two hours of chanting. Blessings towards this end in balancing and removing those conditions with either crown chakra blessings or specific emotional transmission systems would of course minimize your suffering. But if finances is minimal for you, you can choose to chant for the two hours for that condition. Make note of all of your specific financial restrictions so that you have a measurement. Make note of the amounts in your accounts, the different perceptions you have on financial restrictions, the job conditions, and all those different ways that it shows up in your life. Do not focus on it, just 
have a baseline. And then do your practice while visualizing the entire time gold coins coming to you from all sources. Visualize yourself spreading those gold coins out to bring service to others, paying off some of your debts, and so forth. If you truly did this two hours a day, your finances would include, increase and your worry would diminish. You would be using those transmissions to serve the emotional condition for a specific subject matter in this example, finances. It could be applied to relationship and so forth with the same potential positive results. Always remember to do forgiveness practice as this is key in the level and degree of success. This blessing now comes to an end. You are all extremely blessed. This is Yen Wan Ye. How, how, how. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Yen Wan Ye, for that reading of the benefits to everybody and the additional insights about how to use the treasures that they have received. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <clears throat> and I apologize, Donna uh, Wilkinson Clark, if I didn't uh, didn't acknowledge your presence. I appreciate you showing up as well uh, to today and every time when you show up. So, comments, guidance, wisdom, and insights that you received, the value of this practice, vibration. Did you get hot? Did you notice anything leaving? Did you feel any twinges of pain? Which is typically when the dark side is being removed through some of the heavens, generals, and soldiers and the treasures that come with these blessings. Did you receive any aha moments through some of the flows? Are you dedicated to these 21 days? If you are, put it down in writing. We'll hold you to it. When you put something in writing, then there's an obligation to follow through. And that puts more pressure on you, which in this case is a really good thing. Find someone on here to team up with that has two hours. Uh, if two people do it, agree to be buddies. Okay, if three people do it, agree to be triple buddies. Those more people that come together and they choose to do it together and check in with each other, did you do it? What were your results? That's a support team. That means you'll actually follow through. Share with each other. You know, what you're wanting to transform. Share with each other your baseline. This is my baseline. This is where I'm at. This is what I'm hoping the transformation will be when I'm finished. You know, whatever it is, it will definitely be better than where you started, but you can also put forth the end result. Remember, when you put the request out there, the divine will deliver if it is appropriate and if the karma is not blocking it. Hence, the chanting with love and compassion because it puts out the higher frequencies which helps clear off the karmic imbalances. So I encourage you to, to move on the challenges that have been put forth by the soul of worry and reiterated by Yen Wan Ye. I think it's a brilliant um, suggestion and I would love to see people move forward on that. You know, today we've, we've had, had the uh, 22 people come on live and that goes to show that the worry is prevalent in a lot of people's lives. So why not use these tools to help you? Okay. <clears throat> Give me a moment, please. All right. So, um, only for those that are interested, if you're interested in receiving a crown chakra blessing, the honor fee is $100. I will offer a soul operation complimentary with it, which is a $75 value, and I'll keep the honor fee at $100, and the soul operation would be specifically for the, this condition, 
the condition of worry and association and all its blockages as appropriate in the organ of the spleen. The crown chakra can be for a specific con uh, condition of worry. Worry about a relationship, worry about a job, worry about finances, worry about something of that nature. Okay, So the crown chakra blessing can be for the, um, the area of life in which worry has got you blocked. And the soul operation, which is complementary, uh, will be for the organ and the area itself where a lot of blockages get stuck. A combination should bring huge benefits for you. It's like a catapult. And then if you did apply the addition of uh, even one hour chanting at that point, uh, the likelihood of significant movement forward would be very, very high. So I place that offer out there for you. If those are interested, you can let me know. Happy to serve unconditionally regardless. And I'll leave it out there for um, one week, okay? So if you need a little bit of time to put together um, something. Uh, I will extend that to, uh, to a guest or a family member uh, or a friend if that's something that you're thinking of. Maybe not for you, but somebody else. So I'm happy to do that for you. Um, let me finish with a blessing. <clears throat> Make a, a request for whatever you would like. This would be a blessing using my Tao song, Tao Dance Healer Soul. That's one of my highest treasures. Uh, it is from the Da Dao level. It is an extraordinary high level of blessing. So make sure your request is a good one. And no, not anybody else is allowed, just you guys. And this will not be for those that come to watch it on video later. Sorry, I cannot offer it to you. This is only for those that are live now. 15 more seconds, make your request to heaven. Blessing begin. Extremely, extremely, extremely blessed. Countless bow downs, countless bow downs, countless bow downs. My healing treasure, please return. We thank our beloved spiritual teacher and father, Master Shah, all layers of the divine, the Tao, and the source. We thank all of those that came here today to offer their service. We offer our deepest, most heartfelt gratitude to the countless souls that, that have offered us forgiveness, unconditional forgiveness, to all of the karma cleansings of Master Shah and his worldwide representatives and any of the blessings that have been offered. We truly can never bow down to you enough for your unconditional forgiveness. For all those that have forgiven us today, we are truly grateful. For all those that do not want to forgive us, we understand you have been very deeply, deeply and sincerely hurt. We want you to know that we have learned our lessons, we will continue to serve, we will continue to transform, and we pray that someday you will completely and unconditionally forgive us. 
we will continue to move forward with the greatest love and light as best we can. So, <coughs> so I wish to offer all of you <coughs> my gratitude for you coming here today and you, for your tenacity to come back to the live stream after it kicked off in those first 10 minutes. <coughs> um, wow, very powerful blessing. Sometimes I get a rebound effect and it wants to, wants to come to me. So I'll have to do some chanting to clear some of the blockages that were released from you guys. So uh, recommend you take advantage of the crown chakra blessing and the soul operation. Uh, basically, it's you get the soul operation complimentary, uh, and the crown chakra blessing is 100. It's a very, uh, very valuable opportunity to remove quite a few blockages. Happy to serve you. Happy to serve a friend or a loved one. Uh, you can call me or you can uh, reach me through my um, through my uh, website or through uh, any of the pieces of information above this. You can message me on Facebook. Until tomorrow, tomorrow we're going to be focusing on grief and sadness and the condition of the metal element, which includes blockages in the lungs, blockages in the intestines. A lot of our constipation of blockages have the association with the metal element and the sense of smell, sinuses, and other factors as well. Uh, so grief and sadness can be a, a big kicker sometimes. So we're going to have some wonderful teachings, wisdom, and blessings on that tomorrow. And we'll see you then. Bye-bye.